Hello and welcome in this lesson. In this lesson we will learn, Initial Registration Procedure. This graph, shows the flow diagram, of Initial Registration Procedure. First, the UE sends registration request message, to the G node B. This message includes, the registration type, which is equal to, Initial Registration. And UE identifier, which is the 5G GUTI. And if not exist, the UE will send, its SUCI. And the requested NSSAI, that the UE, would like to register to. Then the G node B, selects the AMF, that should serve this UE. And then the G node B, sends the registration request message, to the AMF. Then the AMF, performs authentication and security for the UE, in coordination with, the AUSF, and the UDM. Then the AMF, performs UECM registration, with the UDM. This is in order to, store in the UDM, that this AMF, is currently serving, this UE. Then the AMF, performs SDM GET, with the UDM. This is in order to, retrieve UE subscription data, from the UDM. Then the AMF, sends SDM subscribe, to the UDM. This is in order to, subscribe to be notified, for any changes, in retrieved data. Then the AMF, performs AM policy association, with the PCF. Accordingly, the AMF, receives the AM policies, from the PCF. Then the AMF, sends registration accept message, to the UE. This message includes, the 5G GUTI, that the AMF assigned, to the UE. And the registration area, that the AMF, assigned to the UE. And the allowed NSSAI, that the UE, is currently registered to. Then the AMF, performs UE policy association, with the PCF. Accordingly, the AMF, receives UE policies, from the PCF. And then the AMF, sends those UE policies, to the UE, using UE configuration update. And finally, the UE, sends registration complete message, to the AMF. This is in order to acknowledge the AMF, that the UE received the data, sent in the registration accept message. Thank you and see you, in the next lesson.